What's up guys, it's Oak City 3 here. Today I'll be showing you how to make Lion ESP. It's not really hard or nothing, but it's just going to be very quick and fast. It's uh, going to be a short tutorial for today. I'm um, sorry about the wait, I've just been really busy. But yeah, let's just hop right into it. So first we're going to make uh, local players and we're going to get the wheel to viewport point or whatever. And we're going to get the camera, so this is going to be easy. So we're gonna do uh we're gonna get the local player. So let's just do this. Game out players, local player. And then what we're gonna do is get the camera. So uh, get service. And then right here we're gonna do workspace. And then we're gonna do current camera. And then right here we're gonna do current camera just to make it a bit shorter so current camera workspace dot current camera alright and then for the last we're gonna do world to view port point and then we're gonna do current camera dot world to view port point alright now I'm just gonna make a a simple toggle so we're gonna name this team check and put it false and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do four four IV and then we're gonna do pairs and then where this is where we're gonna get the players so get children or you could do get players I'm pretty sure and then right here I'm gonna do uh, we're gonna start the line so I'm gonna call it tracer that's what it's originally called so Tracer equals drawing dot new. Then you're gonna name this line. Then we're gonna name this tracer dot visible equals false. And then what we're gonna do here is tracer dot color color three. I'm just gonna make this white. And then tracer dot let's do thickness one and then tracer dot transparency we're gonna put this one all right once you got that we're gonna make a script or whatever you want to call it a function so we're gonna name this line ESP and then right here we're gonna do game get service and then we're gonna do the run service and then render stepped and then connect and then we're gonna do a function and then right here we're gonna do if v dot character uh, does not equals nil and then we're gonna do and v character find find first child then we're going to do humanoid and v character find first child then this is going to be you, you could do this or you could just do uh, does not equal nil but I like to do this I don't know why humanoid root part does not equal nil and then and, and this is where we're not gonna make it go to us so it doesn't stick us so we're gonna do uh, oh V does not equal uh, local player or whatever local that you're using for your local player and lastly we're gonna grab the the players humanoid health remember this is only this is the default location or path of the player's health. Um, but if you're doing it in a different game, if they have the health in a different spot, you're going to have to get that value from that path. I keep telling you guys that and you're wondering why it's not working. It's probably because you have it at the wrong path. Whoopsies, I thought it was C sharp. Remember to put then. Huh? What? No. Okay. And 
right here we're going to do local vector and then we're going to do on screen then this is where we get camera world to view port point and then we're going to do v character dot humanoid root part dot position so this is getting the uh this is getting the player's uh humanoid root part position on your screen and we're going to do if on screen so if the player is on your screen if the player's humanoid root part is on the screen then we're going to do uh what is it called then we're going to start uh, doing the tracer the line esp right here so this is where it's going to do the tracer from so we're going to grab the vector 2 of the the, the camera or whatever and then we're going to do uh, uh what is it called we're going to grab the camera view port point port point size i think dot x 2 all right so this is like the bottom of the screen so it's going to be in the middle where 2 is and then we're going to do camera view port point dot size y equals one so it's so the width is right here like in the middle and it stays the the y-axis stays in the middle as well from but if you want it in the middle middle then you have to put two where it's, where it's going to be right here but if you want it at the bottom or you can have it at 1.5 as well but for now i'm gonna put it one but you always want this value, the x value at 2. So it could be mid. You don't have to, but it's always recommended. Now we're going to do tracer 2. So the tracer is going to uh, go from and then 2. That's how a line works, right? From A point to B point. So A is going to be on your screen, and then it's going to go to the player. So we're going to do a vector 2 dot new and then oh, what the hell? vector to I mean vector X or whatever this is called or whatever you named it right here vector X then we're gonna do vector Y so what this is it's grabbing the humanoid through part position the X and Y I'm pretty sure and that would be it and then we're gonna do the team check here so if if team check or whatever your bool is, your team check, and uh, v team color. I'm pretty sure, and then local player. You're gonna get the local player team color. Team color. Then, so if that equals, if the player's team color equals your team color, then this is gonna be your teammate side. So I'm just gonna make it team check on slash this is your teammates and then what you're going to do is tracer dot visible equals false or you can make it a color like blue but I'm going to make it false and then you're going to do else which is your which is your uh, what do you call it which is your enemies well, I'm going to get rid of this, the team checks, so you can understand more of what I'm talking about. So these are your teammates, and these are your enemies right here. So this is going to be tracer not visible equals true. And then you're going to do end. This would be fine, right? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that should be working fine. And then what you're going to do right here is you're rather going to do else and then you're going to do tracer dot visible equals false. Uh, and, and then you're going to end it here as well. Yeah. All right. Oh, right here you're gonna have to do else 
and yeah, let's do tracer visible equals false. Excuse me. And then what you're gonna do is end it here. And then you're gonna do end and then quarantine wrap this thing. I think that's how you spell it, am I right? Nope. Quarantine dot wrap and then you're gonna have to name it this. And then you're gonna do it like that. Alright, and then you just end it. Alright, now your your line ESP is done right here. But you're gonna have to do it on a player added as well, so it's not gonna be hard. It's literally like it's gonna take like ten seconds. So you're gonna do game dot players dot player added and then connect and then you're gonna do function and then you're gonna name this one V. Then you're gonna enter. What you're gonna do is start from the quarantine wrap, highlight all the way up, not from the end. One you want it from the quarantine wrap, go all the way up to the local tracer equals drawing do dot new line thing. Not from the four IV. You're gonna go from here. And then you're gonna paste it in here like that. And then what you're gonna do is end it and then parentheses. And you're pretty much done. I'll go into the game and show you. So go to any game since this is universal. I, I would expect it to be universal. I don't see any problems. But if you have any problems, uh, please let me know. I don't care as much as you're not annoying. But right here, just wait for the game. I'm doing this on MM2 if you want to test it on this game as well. Since this game doesn't have like a lot of stuff to it. But here what you're going to do is, I'm just going to execute, and boom, it should just be working like that. Right to the humanoid position, and you can tell that the line starts from the bottom of my screen where the y-axis is. Now, I'm just going to execute it again, so I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to go to the y-axis where I was just talking about, and I'm going to put it at 2. Make sure to do it on both sides since you did paste it. And let's just exit. And right here, what we're going to do is start it up again. And I will show you what uh, 2 looks like. Or you can have it at 1.5 if you want. Really doesn't matter. So let's execute, and you can tell like it's in the middle of the screen where the tracer is uh, starting and then going to. And as if you like look away from a player, it disappears because you're not there. I mean, it's not on your screen. Your player is not on the screen. But if on screen, then it'll show. But yeah, it should just be working like that. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna do it on uh, 1.5 if you guys want to see 1.5. Let's go do it on the other side. 1.5, and you can tell like it's like between one and two, so it would be this one right here, not this one. Since I executed both, it looks weird, but you're only executing one, so I just executed twice. But yeah, this is what it would look like right there. But yeah, uh, enjoyed the video. Hope you guys liked it. And peace.